Hi folks, it's Ollie here from Happy, and today at Noise Machine Studio, we're having a dive into some new studio monitors from Kali Audio, the INUNF, a fresh new spin on the speakers in Kali's Project Independence line. UNF stands for Ultra Near Field, and check them out, I bet you haven't come across a studio monitor like these before. The INUNF comes in three parts. Two satellite speakers, which share the same tweeters and drivers as Kali's IN5 and IN8, and a base unit. And let's be clear, this is a base unit and not a subwoofer. It has a frequency response range from 40 Hz up to 280, so it's doing a lot of the grunt work. The satellites then stretch the rest of the frequency range up to 21 kHz. The INUNF sets out to be the best option for producers and engineers who are working on a budget in an untreated space. Of course, there are plenty of near-field speakers out there, but an ultra-near-field speaker option for those working in a small rented space that can't be acoustically treated is a bit of an untapped market. In keeping with a convenience-oriented mindset, Kali has provided us with plenty of input options. You can obviously use TRS cables from your interface, but you can also connect via a standard 3.5mm audio jack, a digital optical cable, or you can just go straight in with USB-C, which is super handy for keeping the setup quick and simple. Kali has accounted for lots of different configurations of the unit to make sure you get the best fit for your workspace. You can place the base unit behind your monitor to keep it out of the way, or if you're really pressed for space, you can use it as a monitor stand. The INUNF has a bunch of inbuilt dip switches. These come paired with a cheat sheet on how to set them up to account for any boundary effects or reflections off your desk. All of these configurations keep the satellites at only an arm's distance from your ears. I have a bit of a soft spot for Kali. I still have a pair of LP6s at home, and when I first heard them, it felt like my ears were being opened to a whole new dimension in my mixes that I hadn't heard before. Since then, that's always kind of been the way that I judge monitors. If I don't listen to old mixes I've done and find new things to cringe at, then the monitors really aren't doing anything special for me. Definitely a brutal way to go about deciding what's good, but it does the job. With the INUNFs, Kali has managed to win me over again. They allow you to hear a depth to your mixes that steps up well beyond the LP6s. As an example, I think many of us have trouble finding the sweet spot for the vocals in a mix, but using some quick references, the INUNFs gave a really honest sense of the vocal depth as well as the overall mix depth. The stereo image is also really nice and clear, which I was a little uncertain about given the unusual nature of the speakers. The bass response isn't quite as tight as you'd expect from a set of speakers with larger ports or a dedicated sub, but it's still really impressive given their size and convenience. Testing out some of Kali's claims, I can confirm that they didn't transfer any frequencies to the table I was set up on, which is great considering the amount of low end the bass unit can push out. They also do a really good job of staying highly directional, so they're not likely to bother your neighbours. These monitors are designed to be placed up against or within a metre of a wall. Given the intention of them as space-saving, convenience-oriented monitors, I can kind of imagine that some people would like to be set up on a table that isn't backed up on a wall. I think an extra setting on the dip switches to account for that would have been kind of nice. If you're in a tight room and you want to graduate from headphone mixing, but don't have the space for acoustic treatment or more conventional studio monitoring, the INUNFs are definitely worth checking out. There's no need to take out a second mortgage to get your hands on some of these. They'll only run you back around 1200 Aussie dollars. Cheers for watching. If you enjoyed this video or found it useful, please like and subscribe. We'll see you next time for more gear that we find exciting.